post this. What's up, Casey? I sent your sticker out today, so you should be getting that. All right, <clears throat> so that was the mountain bike. Now I'm gonna do a quick front end loader of some sort. Um, once again, I am gonna look at a picture just for reference because I don't know the uh, parts necessarily. So front end loader, just something generic. Maybe electric, I don't know. These are really cool though, proportionally speaking, just massive. Massive objects. I did get a request. Um, it was on Instagram actually, about ways or strategies to do a drawing with just pen. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do here is, we'll start with some marker. Okay, something like this. And I'll use this to set up the geometry, but I'm not gonna finish it with marker per se, okay? So here, set up some perspective. <clears throat> and looks like we have typically some sort of cab up top. Okay, and I'm just gonna block this in as a box for now, something like that, okay? Not really, again, if I were doing this as a real design project, I would actually take the time to familiarize myself with all of the um, mechanical parts, constraints, the things I need to be aware of if I'm designing something like this, but we're just gonna have fun and illustrate something reminiscent of a front end loader. Okay, so because I had that base geometry, I can start to divide a little bit, right? There's the bucket, and now we've got these huge wheels, okay? They do stick out to the side a little bit, so let's offset. And now we've got our tiny, tiny rims here. Okay, so nice big wheels. Like so. And maybe maybe this front end loader has some sort of steps between the wheels <laughs> so you can get up some sort of step and ladder situation. So I'll just hint at that a little bit here. And now let's get to the back like so. And I'll just project through. And now we'll go down like so. And we have you know, vents for the engine, might be exhaust, muffler, that kind of thing. <clears throat> On the top here, I'm gonna include just a little bit of a shade. I don't wanna obscure the view of the operator, but at the same time, you know, maybe a little shade wouldn't hurt. Some mirrors here. And it looks like, let me see here. It looks like we've got some piston action on the uh, front here, just as a functional thing. So I'm gonna kind of sketch in. That's two products with pistons today, guys. Two piston pro products. All right, how about some lights? Where could we put some lights? Maybe off to the side, up here. All right, maybe something like that. Um, I do want to sketch a little bit of the cab, so a little seat we can hint at. And looks like we have some sort of steering wheel or control. And I'll just block that in um, with my marker here so that Sorry, just looking at the tires. Um, I'll just block this in with my marker for now. And then I'm just gonna hint at some tire tread here as well. We'll clean that up with the pen. I'm trying to decide if I wanna use a brush pen. I think I will use a brush pen and keep this a bit more um, of an illustrated style. Sketch, let's put some lugs on these wheels. All right. Also finish, I'm jumping all over the drawing here, but um, we'll just also finish this bucket. Uh, 
Maybe I will add color. I do love adding color to stuff. But I also kind of want to resist a little bit. All right, so there's my bucket. The bucket does feel a little close to the front. I'm trying to think of a way to kind of give it some room, maybe chopping the nose of the loader a little bit. It could be the fact that the wheel is right there. Um, but not bad for my first front end loader ever, I would say. There's a friend of mine on LinkedIn, Gary Major. Hopefully he's not watching this because he actually designs these for a living. Um, so be gentle, Gary, be gentle. All right, I'm just gonna put a little hood here or canopy for exhaust or components, things like that. All right, and make some room for a shadow. Okay, some sort of shadow as a part of this sketch. All right, so we'll focus on the line work and if we need to add maybe just a color pop or two, um, I'll do that as well. <clears throat> so focusing on the line work. Also this stool I'm sitting on in my studio today is like super uncomfortable right now. What's up Milos? <clears throat> um, Milos says the process was amazing, but I think you can wrap it up with sanding um, and painting. I know that, I mean, for me, this is kind of just a functional object for the studio and just to play around and show you guys something different. So um, I'm more interested in, do you wanna see me, you know, design something on paper and then um, take that into reality? Like, is that something interesting at all? Okay, sorry, I'm just jumping into the Discord here. Lynette mentioned that she had posted in the Discord, so just checking that out. Let's see. Are you Mo Army, Lynette? I'm curious. So I don't see the post in the Discord. So my apologies. I'm, I'm looking at a lot of screens and windows. I'm not trying to ignore you. Um, Latrice says, I would like to see more of the 3D designing and printing. Okay, cool, cool. I can totally do that. Um, let's see. Oh, thanks, Roshan. <clears throat> 3D printing video is super great. Yeah, you know, and I wanted to show as well that sketching isn't always about um, coming up with the prettiest thing. Sometimes it's like just taking a practical approach to thinking through a problem or opportunity and then just moving quickly into CAD or prototyping, which is what I was trying to do there. So appreciate the thought, man. All right, let's just get these teeth on the bucket here. Again, these are probably out of proportion or whatever. All right, something like that. I'll try and be more careful. Since it's since it's mostly a line times obscure the fact that you don't have great line work or control or whatever. All right, I'll fudge that as well. Let's get that bucket in. And like I said, just changing the shape of the front here. So I wanna put a pin in that, so to speak, visually. Um, also this, this hood, just establishing some conceptual hard points on the sketch here. Once again, notice how I'm holding my pen. I'm almost halfway up the barrel <clears throat> of the pen. It allows me to see what I'm drawing, okay? But it also offers a bit of uh, lightness with how you handle your tool. If you're like, you know, stressed out and all the stress in your brain and anxiety is in the tip of the pen, it's gonna show in your drawing. So that's why I always say keep it loose. When in doubt, rough it out, light till you get it right and eventually Eventually you figure these things out and your drawings will just be so much better. If you just pay attention to how you feel, okay? If you need to take a break, go take a break. It's all good. OK, 
Okay, maybe something like that there. And now I'll just start sketching in. And value sketching like this is nice when you're not quite sure what you're doing, but you have a rough idea and you want to, you want to just get some forms or shapes in out of these values. It's a great way to do that. I think I'm going to change even uh, the shape of these lights as well. Yeah, happy to share, GV. Should I call you the governor? Because I don't know how to pronounce your <laughs> your uh, username there. Governor. All right, so maybe maybe we'll change the shape of the lights, and I'll do something like like this. Maybe it's some LED type thing. Let's sketch some of these in. If you're doing a sketch like this, you know, keep that white pen handy. It's, it's going to help us out a ton. Let's get this front glass in. Pillars. <clears throat> like so. Cut for the door. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll just bring this line into the rest of the form. So I'm just pulling this line through all the way to the back and it follows kind of the curve of this arm that we have to the side and I'm probably missing a ton of detail once again so please don't be mad at me if you design these for a living <laughs> okay but I'm gonna add a little bit of a cutout here for the arm because apparently it goes up a bit and now let's add a cut for the door right there Something like that. Shade this in black. And a couple lines on the arm to suggest that it's move it's going into this uh, portion or area. All right, something like that. So now you can see we're pulling the details out. The design for me is about finding those interesting visual um, resolutions, you could say, that just make sense, right? So. If you're doing something, carry your lines through. There's there's this idea of implied lines. Okay, so switching gears from illustration a little bit more to uh, designing something. Implied lines like this are just wonderful. Um, meaning, there's just something satisfying about when you do find an opportunity to find a harmonious resolution to the flow of a line through a product. And you learn that a lot in car design, um, but it's also a thing in just regular product design as well. If you pay attention to the products you use, you'll see it many, many times. All right, so let's get this door situation here and maybe these little mini steps that I sketched in kind of figured out. So maybe just a couple out here, All right? I think I'm gonna turn this into a platform actually. It's a little bit harder there. All right, there we go. And so now I can bring down, say this element here into some sort of step, like a ladder. Okay, something like that. Maybe it's just thin metal perforated. So yeah, you don't always need color, but you do have to be a little bit more careful if you're just doing a sketch with pen. That's why I started with the marker to create a little bit of wiggle room so I could just think through the form. It's also a great way to essentially quickly overlay that design. So I know I said don't draw with your wrist, but in this case, sometimes it's okay, particularly where I can place the palm of my hand down and then just swing my wrist and get the right curve that I'm after. Thanks, Ashke. 
What's up, Alyssa? Hey, hey. All right. <clears throat> so a couple lines here on the upper cab. And we'll go ahead and finish this out now. Now I can bring this line down all the way. I kind of wish I had thought about this a little bit more, but here's an example of what I'm talking about where now I have one surface going this way and it looks like I'm bringing this, this cab out. So I probably need to create some sort of resolution with these surfaces. So I could do something like this where maybe this material now wraps up <clears throat> into the top of the cab. Okay, and carry that line through. But this is this is an area where I'd have to um, kind of resolve and work on things a bit more. All right, let's put a little handle here. Maybe this is how you open open the cab. And also, let's go ahead and get started on the tread. <laughs> yeah, I'm so so hungry. Okay. So after this, I'm gonna do a pencil sharpener and we'll do our garden hedge, edge trimmer, like a power trimmer for hedges. That's what I'll do. To those who I promised uh, <laughs> tutoring <laughs> feedback, um, I'm starting to offer online tutoring one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're interested in that, hit me up but I'll have those plans out to you hopefully this afternoon as I just get a minute. I don't know how many of you know this, but I'm a full-time single parent as well. So it's kind of hard sometimes to do all the things and do all the things well. Um, so that's something I think about and try to be sensitive to, but yeah, don't mean I don't mean to, <laughs> to leave you hanging and wondering what's going on, just um, sometimes it's it's a little bit difficult, but tutoring is something I will be doing. So if you're interested, hit me up, let me know. Or better yet, if you work for a company and you guys are looking for ways to increase the skill set of your employees in anything really, visual communication related, let me know. Be happy to chat about it. Also, <clears throat> I do have links on the video frame. I know a few of you in the past have contributed. Roshan was the last on PayPal. Thank you so much. It's a great way to support what we're doing here. So you can use those links on the frame, paypal.me slash sketchaday, or you can Venmo at Spencer Nugent. And the reason I put that there is you guys have asked in the past, hey, how can I help out? You know, we love what you're doing. That's one way to do it. The other way would be to just pick something up in a store. And if you use the code first timer, you get a small discount. Um, I do have Procreate brushes, I have uh, collections of sketches, I even have a poster of my sketches that you can purchase, so um, check that out, and much appreciated, much love to all of you. Alright, so at this point I'm just working on some of these elements, the line weight and so forth, just trying to systematically or progressively pull pull the form out of, out of my, my shape here, okay? That's what, that's what I'm working on. All right, and the wheel, like I said. I'm not gonna shade in the wheel or anything. Okay, this is just a line drawing. This one's so close to the edge, it's like freaking me out and I'm nervous about finishing out, but let's go. keeping it loose anyway, so close enough is good enough, right guys? <laughs> oh man. All right, not bad. We're an hour in. We've got about 45 minutes to go. Thanks for being here. So up next, I'll be doing just a quick pencil sharpener sketch. I assume you mean electric pencil sharpener, so that's what I'm going to be doing. There's a cool one I saw, um, or I just, I just love those retro Panasonic um, sharpeners, I should say, but we could do something retro, we could not. Maybe it's battery operated. Sky's the limit, really. We'll just sketch in this seat. 
and kind of hint at the interior a little bit. Maybe something like this. Now we can get that wheel and maybe levers in, things like that, all right? Boom, boom, boom. So I'm not sure who asked on Instagram. I need to get better at preparing, <laughs> making sure I give you guys proper props. Proper props, say that 10 times fast. But thanks for the idea and suggestion. Hopefully this answers your question and um, you're able to try something out similar. Let me know if you are. But you can always share with the community on Discord. And just a reminder, um, I do pop into the Discord, but I'm not there all the time. I do try to, to check in, but it's more about the community. community of freaks like me who like to draw but we've had some good um, instances where people have leaned in to help so uh, much appreciated and hopefully hopefully that becomes a tool that you guys can use from time to time to help help out okay so I'm just gonna keep working this you know, with the line weight, if I want to show chrome, for example, on this piston, just something like that. These wheels would not be chrome, so I'm not going to chrome out the wheels or anything. But let's go ahead and just add a little bit of a contact or ground shadow here, just to... Fix this on the page, and then we'll jump to the sharpener. So this is called a motor stroke, and just a way to draw parallel lines next to each other to create a perception or sense or representation of value. So the closer the lines are together, the darker the area will seem. The further the lines are apart, the lighter that value will appear. And it's a lot of work, but if you're doing this with just a pen, this is the way to add a shadow. So at this point, because the area is a little bit bigger, I'm actually just using my elbow as a pivot. It's slightly moving the pen after each stroke. Back to my wrist here. I will say if you're learning to draw, don't use your wrist, but if you're experienced enough, you can get away with using your wrist for something like this, just fine. Maybe a couple texture dots on the wheels. Okay, shadow on the inside, and we'll wrap this guy up. Cool thing with sketches like this too, is you can uh, pretty easily take something like this into Photoshop and just throw some quick color on. Once you have the line, line work done, and maybe try some different looks and feels and so on. All right, so there's our front end loader. Watch, I'm gonna post this on uh, LinkedIn later. And I'm curious to see what my friend Gary says. Because <laughs> again, I don't design these for a living, he does. 
So maybe he'll say good job. Who knows? All right. So we have our loader. 